What's going on guys? So this kind of feels like a bit of an alien experience. I don't think I've picked up my vlogging camera in just shy of a month, which probably seems a little bit strange because I have actually had videos going out consistently every week, bar last week. Although content's been coming, I actually haven't been filming. There's just been lots going on, as I'm sure everybody knows, and there's been more important things to focus my attention on. That's what I've been doing, and I have actually been intending to film this. In today's video, we're gonna be getting around to reorganizing this office and implementing that structure that I mentioned all that time ago. Yeah, I know, I still haven't got around to doing it, which is terrible, but today is the day. And because it's been so long since I've not been on the vlogging camera, there's also lots of changes that's happened around the house. I thought this could be a little home updates video. Um, could talk about some of the stuff that Lydia has been working on around the house and some of the changes that we're making and are currently in progress. If you follow Lydia, I'm sure that you're probably a lot more up to speed because obviously she has been doing her videos. For some of you, it may be stuff that you've seen before, but if you haven't caught any of Lydia's videos in the last like, week or so, then you may not have seen this yet. So I thought we would start off by tackling the office. I won't go over everything again because it has been mentioned in a previous video, but essentially we're gonna be just moving the furniture around and repositioning it because as I mentioned before, one of the biggest concerns with the sort of like restructure of the room is the veluxes and the way in which the light comes in and will be projecting off of my computer screen. And for anybody that's ever had a desktop or a computer that has natural light hitting it, you will know that it is a pain. And when you're editing, you need to be able to see really, really clearly. And I don't really want to resort to using the blackout blinds because that's also not a great working environment. So yeah, this is kind of like a test and I still do need to get on the phone to Velux actually and see if they can supply some kind of like transparent blind instead of a blackout. So it kind of just diffuses the light. Nevertheless, gonna get busy shifting this room around. You guys are gonna sit on a time lapse and uh, I'm gonna probably get quite sweaty doing this. <laughs> fashion it's came about that my desktop decided that it wanted to restart and I was like yeah I'll just quickly restart it I'll move this stuff around and then by the time that's restarted I can switch it off and then move the desk 45 minutes update so I thought I would quickly use this opportunity because uh, I've just seen a stack of shoes on the floor that I want to talk to you about so we're gonna have a quick look at those um, and then I'll tell you more about them in a sec I thought whilst my office is in a little bit of a state, I'll quickly set us up over here. Wherever I go, you must be, Lumi. You proud of yourself? Hmm, thought so. You're always in the way, aren't you? Right, sorry about that guys. Hopefully you can see a little clearer out here. But before I open up these boxes, co-founders Jay Patel and Sid Chawler, based out of Indianapolis, New York, both started YRX boots about two years ago with the purpose to make high quality fashion boots with the durability of workman boots all without compromising the style. So I've selected a few pairs today which we're going to take a look at um, and I thought I would unbox them with you. The first pair are, I don't actually know which order these are in. Ah, oh, these are actually my favourite pair from the three that I selected. This is the all black pair. As you can see, they've got a mixed fabric going on here. We've got a leather toe and heel, and then across the body of the shoe, there's a lovely finish with, of course, the laces, treads on the bottom for grip. I got these in a size nine. They fit really nicely for anyone that's wondering. I really like the mixture of the textures and materials here. It's something that I haven't got in my shoe collection already, so it makes a nice addition, but it still kind of keeps that classic feel with the all black. Uh, running through. So yeah, these are the first boots that were selected. It also comes with this care kit, which is something that you don't often get with shoes. So 
this is really nice. Um, inside you have a brush which I'm assuming not many of you guys have and you all should because these are really nice to kind of like just smarten up and tidying up your boots after you've been wearing them out and about. If I ever get caught out in the rain then I have um, a good brush and then respray the boots just to protect them uh, with some crepe protect or something like that works great. And then also a shoehorn. You can never have too many shoehorns. I like to have smaller ones when I travel and then I've got a really big one for when I'm at home. So this is a really handy little addition to get when you buy the boots. So very happy about that. And next up, so as you can see, this is the same style boot, but we have a different color palette. This is the sort of thing that I'd maybe wear with some like light wash jeans. Um, they'll also work really nicely with black jeans as well, but they've got this like mild gray finish with the tanned toe and heel. Again, lots of similarities to the last boots. Comes with a care package as well, which is great. I think this makes a nice addition for somebody that's looking for a classic style boot that has uh, more of a statement feel to it. These are definitely more of a standout boot that will get people talking. So this is the second pair. And then finally, we'll open up the third. Now last but not least, this is the third boot. And this is the brown edition. All of these boots are actually called Apollo. I'll leave a link down to all of these in the description box below so you can go and check them out. Again, this is a style that is slightly more sort of like consistent throughout the boot, but still continues the mixed fabric, which is really nice, and the lace. So yeah, they're the uh, boots that I selected from YRX. If you want to go and check them out, they'll be in the description box below. Lumi does not know what to do with herself. Now her throne has been removed from its original position. You upset? You upset, Lumi? So it's been a very long day and it looks like nothing's changed. Earlier, I had been waiting for an update on my computer. I then went and had some lunch and then I just completely lost track and was like, oh, I need to upload tonight's YouTube video. So I uploaded, which was last week's vlog, and all of a sudden the vlog got to like 87% and then it just stopped. And then it was like probably going up by like a percent every half an hour. And it got to like 91% and then it just jumped up again. But it's taken almost the whole day. Anyway, cut long story short, couldn't move the desk until the video was uploaded and it's only just uploaded. And then I had to like push on my content live. So sorry today has been a bit of a weird one. Um, it doesn't feel like we've accomplished much, but I am gonna continue and get this room into the sort of like place where everything needs to be. And then tomorrow I'm gonna go through all of the house updates, but let's just get busy with this now and get this room back and functioning because I'm gonna be needing it. because I've started putting the room back together and it's became very apparent that the stuff, the furniture that I've already got is a bit too big and it's not actually what you had planned on putting in here. Oh no, not Lydia's all. doing the design on this room. Uh, I asked if she would help me out on it because I want it to be more cohesive with the rest of the house. So basically we want to run some like old aged oak beams throughout this top floor. I think it will add a really nice feel to the top floor, won't it? And I want this room to be reflective of the rest of the house. Absolutely love what Lydia's done with the lounge, which we'll take a look at tomorrow. So this isn't the furniture that's gonna be going in here, but this is just the test. Predominantly the light on the desktop, but also the feel whilst people come and spend time in here. So that's what today's about really. And we just kind of hit a bit of a wall over in the corner because the furniture's too big. So advise. Yeah, well, I think you said it. I think you can already see that You've still got the, the floor space that you want. If you were to have a, a corner sofa in there, that makes that such a better area. Imagine James sat here. Corner sofa, yeah. Sat here like that. You can even have little meetings here. And then you've still got the space yeah. that you want. Like you can even, like I know that obviously we'll have a different chair because that chair, I, ca I cannot wait 
for you to not have that chair. A rolling one would be worse. No, 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 babe. You'll hear it. I don't even care. The squeak that that chair makes, the noise, I can hear it downstairs. I'm like, That's oh my god. No, it's not. <laughs> but yeah, obviously that desk is a lot smaller yeah. than the desk that you'll have, but still, you have so much more space. <laughs> And then we just need to think, well, you need to think about how I'm going to just store my stuff for there. Um, and then obviously a table or a smaller trunk, whatever you think fit, fit for here. Because um, these are side tables. Yeah, and they're also way too tall. Yeah, but they're side tables. Look, that side table's perfect for the side of Yeah, but that's not. That is a side table as well. Yeah, but it's too tall. Yeah, I know, but... I don't know what that's a side table for. A tall chair. So anyway, um, yeah. Let's show you guys around where we're at the moment. Dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> so this is basically like going to be the corner area that I was talking about. And please don't judge the current furniture set up because all of this is going, all's getting changed. There's not anything here that you're looking at that's going to stay. Apart from the two moving things. That'd be Lydia and Louie. Getting rid of us, Bobby. <laughs> he said that we're going. Do you think that's the right picture? It can be, yeah, Or yeah. do you need another photo? Once it's white in here, we could do another photo. Mm. You, could, you could pick a different photo of me. Yeah. <laughs> Just clock what you said then. <laughs> I could. This is the desk setup. I like the desk setup. It feels like more office-y. Yes. If that makes sense. It feels more like firm here. Like I'm a I'm a desk. But also it's easier to actually like see you as I come up the stairs. What and check in what I'm looking at on my yeah, computer. Come and do jobs for me. <laughs> But also I can come and sit here when you beg me to come and look at your work. I can come and sit here and you yeah. can turn the computer screen yeah. and I it, can see. At the moment, this desk's a very, what do you say, Nordic style? Yeah, it's quite Scandi. It's very like... Scandi style, um, yeah. And obviously the chair. So what you're looking at, it kind of looks very spindly and thin and it allows a lot of kind of like airiness in a room, yeah. which is fantastic in most occasions. But... We're actually looking for something that's quite dense, Substantial, it's big. Yeah. I want more desk space, so obviously, because of all of that, this is gonna fill out this area a lot more. My desk will probably be situated slightly further back and it'll be chunkier, and there'll be a big Chesterfield chair. So the whole room will feel more fulfilled in that sense. So even though at the moment when you look in, it just feels like there's a big void here, that, that will go. At the moment, I'm kind of working off of iPad, desktop, and then I've got my Wacom. Wacom. Wacom tablet, which I always pronounce wrong, and my diaries. So I always have to move my mouse to get my Wacom in. My diaries need to come in, move my mouse and stuff. So just for this like one little bit of area, which you can tell gets a lot of wear because look at the, de the desk, you see it? Where it's worn down, where I do all my mouse work. <laughs> yeah. um, that gets a lot of use. So I need a wider desk and- You need a mouse mat. Yeah, I do need a mouse belt as well. <laughs> and some stain to cover up that. <laughs> but yeah, so a wider desk, a deeper desk, uh, and more storage. So I've only got these two little drawers. Yeah, those drawers are pathetic. Yeah, so a bigger desk in general for both function and for feel. Yeah. Uh, and then Lydia was just saying, I don't know if I caught that on camera, that a corner sofa in here, which will obviously be complemented by a smaller 
coffee table which will either be a trunk or a normal coffee table yeah. oh, but i was thinking of an architect's chest yeah an architect's chest was a lovely idea yeah, i did like that idea depending on size wise we'll have, yeah. a, we'll have a look at what we can find well, that sounds nice and this rug's going to be changed to a slightly darker color which will be more cohesive with the hallway I think I've talked about this before, so I won't go over it again, but obviously we know that these are all being specced up and we're looking to like cloak this with some slightly more thicker finishes and we might get rid of this door because I just leave it up all the time and it's pointless. And we were talking about creating a shelving system in here where I could store my fragrances. We were also thinking about making that glass, getting all the fragrances on the shelf, having my jewelry in there with a glass top. Uh, so that was another idea. So there's lots to think about in this particular area. And then the last, idea we had so initially we were going to put bookshelves both sides but it's just wasteful for space it would it would compromise us with the sofa it would all be for aesthetics anyway so we're thinking of perhaps just doing it on this side and leaving that with the sofa area and then also that will mean that i'll have more storage for whatever else and i want to stick on there also sorry to interrupt but no, fine. your desk will have like two cabinets either side with lots of storage with lots of storage yeah so you may not need to even no. put the, the book shelf there at all shelf in at yeah all. and it just needs to be functional i need to have enough space yeah the thing that really like i really struggle with is my camera bag i access it all of the time like mm -hmm. almost every day uh some days multiple times in a day so i love having access to that mm -hmm. but i just don't like how like it's just it's a rucksack in a room can you not Put it in that cupboard. The shoe cupboard? Yeah. Have you seen my shoe cupboard? You need to have a clear out. <laughs> if, you're, if you run out of space for shoes, you need to have a clear out. Uh oh. It was only the other day I was looking at this and I was like, I've made loads of room and I'm now like 10 pairs on the floor already. Yeah. You need to. To be fair, room. there's like six new pairs from a collaboration. Because, but so I didn't, it's not that I've been buying, I've just been doing collaborations. I'm not judging you, babe, but. No. I have a cupboard at the back of my dressing room where I keep all of my stuff that I need daily access to, like my steamer and... Oh yeah, a daily access to a steamer. Just what I need. Do you need that? No, I'm joking. No, but I have daily access to a steamer. I steam all my clothes. The linen life stuff. The linen life. You need to make space in there for the stuff that you want out of the way and mm. put... To like you shouldn't have all your clutter out just because it's convenient for you. You should have a place that it's convenient to keep it yeah. and then get out when you need it. Okay, get in the cupboard then. <laughs> <laughs> like I, like, I did like that one, yeah. <laughs> that made me feel warm inside. <laughs> Come on, Lumi, you're leaving. Come on. She'd stay here with you. Yeah, you? I was gonna say she ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so I'm looking right out into the room, which is nice. And it's nice as well for when, because you were very, it feels when you come up these steps, I know, you can't see me, can you? You try and talk to me, you're like way at the back, whereas there, it's like I can actually have a conversation with you here. Yeah. It's just more social, isn't yeah. it? And I think that's what we're trying to get at, is yeah. that this room was a room that was laid out nicely aesthetically it looked well it worked well but it just wasn't a social space it wasn't it, it wasn't like functional it functioned fine it just wasn't mm, not functional really i mean function is in like i could i worked in it selfishly fine but it just wasn't social for everyone else see you later lovely speaking oh, no. to you my darling <laughs> 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 oh god we need to sort that cupboard out now you know how carrie feels that's exactly why i'm like with carrie my mind just goes <laughs> any hoot any who babe i know it is <laughs> there's no tea on who it smells delicious i don't think it's gonna be as delicious as it smells yeah why I don't know, I don't think I did it right. Oh, I love this pasta. This yeah, is the stuff from the plow, isn't it? That's the pasta from oh, the plow. Yeah, I know, because um, that's all we've got. And you're gonna have a bad belly then? Yeah. I have to say, your cooking, babe, has got incredibly good over quarantine, hasn't it? Well, you just say that because you don't want to cook. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Say, 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 say
So last week's vlog, when it just went out, Liz and I spent quite a lot of time in the garden and we went on a little tour and at the front of the house, I showed you a plant that I really liked and I used to call it French lavender. Wasn't really sure what it was called, it was purple, but it hadn't quite blossomed. It's now in full blossom. Lydia's got an app on her phone that tells her what it's called. I haven't checked my comments tonight, so somebody might already have slipped in there. Bless you! <laughs> Did you hear that? Sneezy. Unbelievable. So anyway, we're gonna go outside now with Liz's phone. No, I've Ooh. already done it. Oh. I've already done that plant. What is it? It's not French lavender. What is it? You alright, you little flirt? Mmm. <coughs> you got some food? <coughs> okay, I'll feed you just after this little bit of footage, okay? That one, isn't it? Yes. I already did it because I knew it wasn't French lavender. What was it, it is perennial salvia, a species a species of sages, also known as wild sage, balkan clary, purple wood sage, and woodland sage. Wow. But some people have said that it can get it wrong, so do you want to do it again just to be sure? Come on in. Beautiful. I'm not sure if that's a sage. How can that be a sage? It smell like sage. Let's mm. do it again. Yeah, it says it's again, so it must be right. Perennial salvia. Good to know. Wild sage. Okay. So pull that out now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hadn't seen our lavenders come out. Yeah, all of them. Oh wow. Oh, I do. Let's see, imagine this whole bed was lavender. I finished off this evening's chores and before we sit down and catch up on a new Netflix documentary. I'm gonna make Lid and I a hot drink. Lid is gonna go for a sleepy tea. Nighttime tea it's called, babe. Proof's in the pudding. Do you want one of your new mugs? Yeah. Of course she does. Where are these mugs from, Lids? Uh, Say that again. Yeah, what she said, if anybody asks. And I'm not sure if I've spoke about these on my vlog yet. But that cake sent out two white chocolate, two dark chocolate and two milk chocolate, hot chocolates. Uh, and they consist of real chocolate flakes. So. I pour in your see. I actually really, really, really enjoy the milk chocolate ones. So what I do is I do a little combination of milk and dark like that. And then Get it on the hot tap, like so. Seal those little puppies up. These are the best hot chocolates I've ever had. Probably the naughtiest as well. I normally go for like the low cal stuff, but oh, this stuff is ridiculous. And then we get the wigs, don't we, Lummy? Yeah. One of these. I keep the jobby. And then when I can't see any more bits floating around, I'll add a dash of milk. Just like so. And then if you were feeling outrageously naughty, you could put some cream on top, marshmallows, or the cake actually suggests putting some more chocolate sprinkles, but that's just how it is for me. It's nice, isn't it? What would you like? 
Yeah. Voila. Two drinks ready for some Netflix. So this will be the first time you guys have seen the living room on my channel. The creator is sitting here right now. <laughs> you may not know who's here because they are very similar. We've actually replaced the sofas. So the sofas that were in here are down in Lydia's office. Well, half of them are. We've got to wait for some strong men to lift the other big one down. We've added some additional buffets at the ends of both of these sofas. That was the comfort part of my video last time when I was talking about us making it really comfortable in here. So we can now get the two buffets, put them together and Lids and I can sort of like make a sofa bed in here, which is really lovely, isn't it? Or as somebody pointed out on your channel, we could just go and watch TV in bed, <laughs> which well, made me laugh. No, yeah, but it didn't make me laugh. So I was like, it's so true. Yeah, um, but yeah, hot chocolate. This evening, I'm going to stick on Malcolm X. We've got a long list of Netflix documentaries to watch. So we'll have a little bruise. <laughs> Tomorrow um, we'll take a closer look in this room, see what's been going down and uh, the new additions into the room as well. And then we'll have a little look around some of the other areas we've been working on and some new projects around the house as well that are just about to start. Hopefully, if COVID allows, and I'm just about to sneeze, so before I do, oh, it's coming. Oh no, I hate it when you sneeze. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's gone. Yeah. That is the worst <laughs> feeling in the world. There is, isn't it? I'm the mad. anticipation. I was is... like, it was there. It came all the way to here and then just went, fizzled away. The way you sneeze is like I take a... the house down. I cough and sneeze yeah, at the same time. Yeah, cough and a sneeze And I make, I do time. the whole like, <laughs> It's horrendous. <laughs> I can't. And when I do try to like keep my sneezes really quiet, I just feel like my head just goes, <laughs> <laughs> too much, too much pressure. So I just need to let it all out. So we're going to see you in the morning. We're going to go on a little house tour. And uh, yeah, lots to talk about. Morning. Morning. I've got my joggers on. You ready to go running? Yes, I am actually. Like, I'm not, it's not that I'm not into flowers in the house, but like, I don't get excited as you do about flowers. I mean, they look lovely. How fake do these look? And they're real. Amazing, aren't they? Yeah, I actually can't believe that they're real. So funny, you thought the fake ones were real, and you think the real ones are fake. Yeah, they're doing a good job then. It's Friday, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing that That's Roland fun. always yeah. says, isn't it? <laughs> How tight. This is the, uh... First time in a while, isn't it? Actually, no, it happened the other day, didn't it? Yeah. I think it's when I try and run quicker. Why don't you tell them what you're doing? Giving yourself the muscles. We've just been for a run and he's got a little bit of pain in his leg. And um, this is the Theragun. IT band is where. Yeah, he gets a lot of issues with his IT band. And so he's using this to beat it out of it. Basically. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. Does it? Yeah. Ooh, right there. I can just feel it. It feels like tight and slightly bruised, and then give us a little blitz, and it slowly relaxes it, and then it stretches out, and then it doesn't hurt so much. <laughs> so, this is my post workout, or run, should I say, breakfast. We've got the cress. Scotch bonnet peppercorn sauce from Ken's mum. Beans, one egg, that's why I've got beans today. Two slices of bread, probiotic tablets, can of Aspire. Good run? Yeah, it wasn't my best. Wasn't it's your coffee. best? Mm. I think it was because you made me eat late last night. Yeah, I worked till about 9.30 last night, which Mrs. Millen Gordon wasn't happy about. So this morning kind of just escalated into a huge gardening session. It's been incredibly productive. I've cut the lawns, I've gone and turned over a load of soil around some of the trees in the garden. I've completely cleaned out one of the areas where I have a fire pit, which you would have seen on my video before. Been generally tidying, sweeping patios, just giving everything a little bit of a tidy up. And I couldn't have timed it any better, to be honest with you, because it's just started to rain. Well, it's, it looks like it stopped again, actually, but it's like, it's gonna rain any moment now. So I managed to get out just in time. Lydia's currently in the beds at the front of the house, 
having a little spruce up. Thought I would uh, start showing you around, seeing what's changed in the house because like I said, it's been like almost a month since I've been on here and lots changes in this house in a month. So Lydia smirk over there. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll tell you some of the plans we've got as well because we've got lots of plans to do. So, how are you getting on? Um, so I made a bit of a mess. Have you? So, uh, oh, a little bit. Oh, lovely. I just swept this. I know. So, I was going to ask you to get me the um, broom. The broom. But there was those purple flowers, they were put in there, but they were suffocating these, the lavender, from looking like that. Like so, what, that one there? Yeah, like instead of growing up, like They're it was growing literally out. growing over there. Yeah, so this has gone... Exactly, so I've taken okay. it out because I would much rather... You, it looks like there's four there though. Yeah, one, there is. Two, three, four. Oh no, it's three. It, yeah, it's three, but there was one, like it had been planted right in the middle. Okay, And so it was, it was like spread over the top, so maybe we can get another one. I might try and order one to put in there. Yeah. To sort that, I've pulled it out of there okay. as well. However, I've got to say, I don't love these. These? Yeah, I think they look messy. Okay. Um, and I don't- Tangly. Yeah, and I don't know. Not lovely little flowers. So just before the heavens open, I thought I'd quickly come and show you what I've been up to. So around all of the trees, I've basically made new fresh areas. So when you do the lawn mower, it's just a lot easier to get around. It looks a lot neater. And then this is the area that I'd say I cleaned out the most. This was all like overgrown here, so I literally just drove through, cleared out the way, and then I just completely cleared out this whole area um, because all of that was completely overgrown. It was all butting up to this. And I just gave it all a big rake, a bit of de-weeding. I can actually get in here without feeling like I'm gonna be bit or like a tick is gonna jump on me or something. So yeah, a little fire pit. And then this area as well, which you can all see, is just completely opened up. So when I, when I come from the lawn, I drive in, I come around here and I dump all the grass there and I drive out and around again. You alright Noisy? I can't remember if I vlogged it or not, I'm pretty sure I didn't, but all of these stones that you can see here were the stones that used to be in the basement and obviously all of the stones that were over on that fire pit, that's part of them as well. And then I've also got like three buckets worth behind the shed. So this isn't going to stay like this, but I just used it as like a little storage area for now because this could be really useful if we were to ever like put potentially a pond or something and to have stones around it so we don't want to get rid of them just yet because they're not the cheapest but i'm not going to go through garden plans with you today but i will quickly talk to you about this area down here uh, those that follow me on instagram would have seen that I spent the day taking all of the stones from in here up and out and wow that like wrote me off for like four days but the paving is supposed to arrive today and then the workmen are looking to come maybe middle to back end of next week so literally when this vlog will be going out hopefully they'll be able to start because you're allowed to work outside at the moment and the paving is going to be laid and then we're going to have composite cladding on the walls uh, both sides new lights uh, some power put out here and then this can just be like an area where the guys can come out chill from the office and of course when we have social events in the future people can come out here and uh, just spend a bit of time outside so it'd be really nice and then I think Lydia's gonna get some pots perhaps a self-contained water feature this staircase is going to be sprayed white uh, this is the fire escape staircase which is like the most horrible thing to walk up and down so it won't actually really be used it'll just be uh, for us to access in and out of the house so that's that area. This stuff here, this clematis, yeah. this is reaching the wall now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So maybe today I can try to fix the brackets on. Anyway, into the house we go. First things first. So I need to turn the lights on. We walk into the lounge. I showed you a little bit of this last night. So this has been a project that Lids has been working on over the past, ooh, I don't know, month or two months or so. And I decorated the walls black and it was not fun, but I'm actually really happy with how it looks in here. It's such a dark day, it's so hard for you to see. But essentially what we've done is, we've taken the sofas that were in Lydia's office, like I mentioned last night, and we put them in here because they're just fuller, they're bigger, 
they fill the room out a lot more. So that's one of the things that we've changed in here. We've kept the same side tables, lamps, coffee table in the middle, and I think Lydia's put some new cushions in the room and this Louis Vuitton throw. New centre light in the middle, which I fitted a while ago. Uh, that's absolutely lovely. And of course, new wall lights as well. So we've got wall lights on the back here and then wall lights over here. We've kept the same console table and mirror. Lydia got this diffuser the other day and these bookends. The books that we're gonna be putting here are probably gonna be like leather bound books. So they're gonna look a lot older, a bit more distressed, a bit more in keeping with the style of the room. And then you may notice in the corner of the room, the telescope. So this used to be in my office and one day it made its way down here. And uh, I don't mind, it's fine. It looks cool in here, it works well. Kind of like ties in nicely with the lights, with the copper. We have probably our new favorite corner in this room, our new Louis Vuitton trunk, which was a real treat. Lydia bought this actually. It's actually really cool because this particular trunk has the crown. I don't know if you can see just here. It's got the crown on the side of it. And Lydia goes into a little bit more detail about the history of the trunk or what we know about the trunk in one of her videos. So if you head over there, you can get the detail. I don't really know much, um, but looks amazing. Love the colors. And then on top of it, we've got some books and then Venus, which is a bust that Lydia got a couple of weeks ago. This is a cut off from the oak tree that's in our garden. And uh, we go out there and cut a branch off every now and then and then Lydia shaves the end off with a knife and then sticks it in water. Probably lasts for about a week. If anybody knows any kind of like agent or anything that we could put in the water to give it a bit more life, that would be really cool. It just looks so beautiful and it's almost such a shame that it only lasts like seven days, I'd say. And then if we walk through into what used to be our dining room, which is now a storage room. Yet to decide exactly what we want to do in here, but Lydia and I have both spoken about the idea of turning this into a study. Uh, it will be like a communal study. So if we have meetings at the house, if we need to take any calls or if there's any personal stuff that we need to do, this room would be great for that. It could also be used as a reading room. And perhaps one day it could even be transformed into a nursery if we have a little one. So that's something that we need to be thoughtful about and keep in mind. But at the moment it's just thawing all of the sofas and everything. So basically this is all going down into Lydia's office, but. I'm not strong enough to carry it down myself and it also doesn't fit down the stairs so we need to get in some men to help carry it over that banister down through the basement. That is not going to be a fun job. So they're probably like the main areas, the lounge, the study room, the basement and my office that we're having work done in at the moment and of course upstairs has kind of like escalated in my office to being quite a large job with the beams and stuff going in. And the last thing on the house update to let you know what's going on is I think we're going to push forward with putting a new floor in the kitchen. We currently have this, not really sure what tile it is. I want to say porcelain, but I'm not sure. And it's really strange because in some areas it's really shiny and in other areas it's matte. And it's almost like somebody's put like a cleaner down on it and it's taken the shine off of them, like an acid maybe, or I don't know. Um, but you can particularly notice it over here. So garden is back in the gaff. She's gonna be making us one of my favorite cheese and gherkin sandwich. Oh, we need to go down to, that's something we need to do. Lids and I need to make our way down to the plow and get ourselves not only a food shop, but she just doesn't know this yet. Should we get a takeaway? No. Oh, why? Because we've, we had about five takeaways last week. <laughs> I don't know. What do you want me to say? Oh, we can get, what, a takeaway from the plow? Yeah. Okay, all right, I'll do that, because that's a good one. Um, do we have any bread elsewhere? So we're having... Oh yeah, we've got buns. Like baps, burger <laughs> buns. That's true, we have. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna get a takeaway from the plow tonight. Did you see what arrived? What? What's arrived? they saw how much you loved it in my vlog. They didn't last long at all. No. The dairy free. I didn't show you the, the vegan chocolate. Mm, that is the best vegan chocolate I've had. Really? Yeah. You're not very happy about that. You literally look like you're gonna cry. <laughs> I've been sent a lot of chocolate recently. Yeah, we have. Which is lovely, but I'm concerned about my physique. Yeah. 
there's me because I don't want to get a takeaway. Yeah, so we've got these crisps as well that were put to us. When Let's have some crisps then. Huh? So some crisps as well with this sandwich. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. One of the ladies that bought our wall lights in the lounge owns um, the Kent Crisp Company. Show. Sure. And they're hand cooked crisps, and they look. I think these are my favourite ones: the oyster and vinegar flavour. Because I was sat eating them, and I didn't realise that in one sitting I ate all of that. <laughs> I didn't even realise. <gasps> that's a big bag. That's a share bag. I know. Anyway, get another one out. Please. Um, so, yeah, exactly, please. The old sandwich and crisp for lunch. Ham and mustard. Ooh. But I thought you might like That's right up my street. Mm. Well. Just some food. Shock. Good amount of cheese. Some pickles. Sliced gherkins. You know what else I want with mine? Horseradish. Horseradish. You know the crack. You're not just a pretty face, are you? What, making a sandwich? <laughs> you don't know what to say, do you? No. <laughs> Watch what you're doing. Stop being a backseat sam back sandwich maker. What? How's that a backseat sandwich maker? <laughs> backseat sandwich maker. Yeah, it's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? You having a gherkin? Yeah. Some people don't like gherkins. That's really I know. strange, isn't it? Very bizarre. If you don't like gherkins, who even are you? Mm. I was once told never trust somebody that doesn't like a gherkin. So on half of one of the sandwiches, you're going to have to put your own horseradish because this is just a little one. A halfy. This is the sort of lunch that I'd normally have if I was going to my grandparents. And they'd be like, do you want a cheese sandwich? <laughs> and they'd put out some crisps and then some pink pant for biscuits. They're delicious. Mmm. Kent's crisps are good. They've got some good depth and hard crunch. Mm. Good texture. So we've got Lydia's favourite starter. And for mains, we've got a haddock. Oh, didn't focus. What a surprise. So we've got a haddock and chips in here. And then this is a asparagus risotto in here. Babe, this vlog is 45 minutes long. Wow. Can you believe it? steal my thunder. I know, coming for you with the length. So, because this vlog is probably gonna be the longest vlog to date, I'm gonna wrap it up. It's been a good one, it's been a long one. I hope you've enjoyed the home updates. Of course, as the work progresses, I will keep you updated and uh, let you know how we get on. <laughs> what a surprise, all vlog, she's been interrupted the whole time. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. If there's anything that I think needs linking or I can remember that I said I'd link, we'll do that below. Yeah, thanks, love me. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>